Here are 7 drills to improve your Fortnite building skills. Presented by Fortnite Master. Building has come a long way since the first couple of seasons. The average player is now a lot better at building and editing, and build battles have become more common but also more complex. As players have gotten better, the meta has evolved to include a lot more advanced building tricks, many which involve a series of fast inputs and well-timed jumps. We're going to go over 7 drills to help you warm up your building and editing skills, in addition to suggesting some good practice environments. Without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first and probably most common drill to start with is 90s. If you're struggling with the technique, check out our video, 5 more advanced building strategies for a more detailed explanation. When you have the technique down, it's just about warming up your muscle memory and execution. 90s are pretty straightforward, but there are a few variations that you should remember to practice for a well-rounded warm-up. You want to make sure you practice your 90s in both directions, so start with 90s going one way, then switch it up halfway through. It's also important to warm up both your double 90s and triple 90s, as you will have different situational uses for both in real games. Next up is ramp pushes. We suggest grabbing an assault rifle for this one to make it feel more realistic. Start by doing a simple single ramp push. When you feel comfortable, try pulling out your AR and shooting over the ramp as quickly as possible to simulate a real game. To step it up a notch, you can add variations to make it feel more realistic. The main point is to warm up muscle memory for quickly placing ramp, floor, wall. After you've got the single ramp push down, spend a couple of minutes warming up your double ramp push too. This one is typically hard for newcomers, but once you get it down, it's not that difficult. This push is a lot more situational, and you'll use it a lot less, but it can come in clutch in certain situations. This side jump is something that a lot less players use, but it's an extremely useful trick to have in many spots. For specific tips on doing this jump, check out our video, 4 advanced building strategies to help you win more fights. Once you get a feeling for the jump, it's pretty easy to warm up. After the jump itself, there are two different variations to practice. The first and easier way is to simply turn around and build up over the original platform. The second involves double ramping off of the jump followed by 180 or 90s. This one is a little trickier. Check out our second advanced building strategies video for some specific tips for this jump. This next drill is a part of Ghost Bizzle's warm up routine. The strategy itself is great for retaking high ground, but it's also a good way to warm up your muscle memory for double ramp retakes. This strat looks a little confusing, but it's not that complicated in reality. Just think of it like you're double ramping and preparing to do a 180 turn, but instead of the 180 turn, you quickly box yourself up, leaving one side open, then double ramp out of the side of the box, and then repeat. In build fights, a common strategy when you get blocked is to immediately change directions and build up with a double ramp. This is a great drill for warming up that muscle memory. As a bonus, if you want to warm up fast falling, practice it on the way down after this or any of the three previous drills. Although tunneling isn't a super common strategy for casual players, it's a good drill to practice and start using if you don't already. Knowing how to efficiently tunnel can save you in some tight situations and come in handy in crowded late game circles. Start by tunneling either to the left or the right until you get it down, then switch it up and go in the other direction. Afterwards, practice tunneling in a straight line. You will most likely need to let go of turbo build for this one, so you don't place walls in front of you that block your path. Finally, practice tunneling diagonally, switching directions after each tile. After you're done warming up those specific builds, spend some time just freestyling, building whatever you want, stringing together multiple techniques, and practice a little bit of everything. This should help you loosen up your improvised building, because at the end of the day, building in Fortnite isn't a bunch of 90s and ramp pushes. It's about using those builds as a baseline and adapting to the situation at hand. The addition of creative mode was useful for both casual and competitive Fortnite players. It is easily the best place to warm up building because players can have infinite mats. On top of that, some of the top Fortnite players have created practice courses that anybody can use to warm up building, editing, and aiming. If you're looking to warm up your editing specifically, these courses are your best option. Three courses we like a lot are from Noisy and Martos, Mongrel, and Official Can Duke. Codes for these courses will be in the video description, along with links to the Reddit threads containing a variety of other practice courses. To enter a course, head to your creative hub. 
and paste the map code into one of the blue rifts. Once you're in, remember to click start game or else you won't have edit permissions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. On the right side, click one of the two videos to watch more of our guides. On the left, hover over the Fortnite master icon to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you don't miss any of our high quality guides. Lastly, you can find our supporter creator tag, FNMastercom, in the video description, which you can use to support us. From all of us over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One, and we're out. Peace.